Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Today we have a little bit of insurgency news for you. Um, the Warlord Hotfix 2 was dropped for consoles just yesterday morning. Wanted to give everybody a chance to play through it a little bit and make sure, uh, just to make sure everybody had some experience with it before we started doing videos on it. And um, we're gonna do, we're gonna look over some of the patch notes uh, for known issues, corrected issues, and just see kind of where we're at right now. So here's that resolved issues list. Um, there's a lot to unpack here, so we're not going to go through all of them, as I said, but I'm going to leave this up here while we do go through a few. Um, at the top, the, the second one there, you know, fixing the bomber drones, not dropping their explosives. That's that's a, kind of a big deal, obviously, if you're trying to use the command role um, and one of your main functions isn't working at all. So hopefully that is, that is fixed. Uh, the third one down there fixed an issue where the weapon's uh, firing sound effects would not play while inside a building if the player opened and closed the loadout menu. This is a good one to fix and it may not seem as big of a deal on the surface as it potentially could be but uh, you could understand how this could give uh, a player an unintended advantage um, if they're firing their gun and you can't hear it uh, even if they can't hear it no one else can either um, so that is a good thing to get fixed as well having no ammo boxes um, in hardcore checkpoint probably a big deal uh, considering um, you're having a much a much more limited ammo count uh, starting those game modes anyway so definitely a necessary fix there um, and in towards the bottom uh, a couple of crash fixes and obviously anytime the game crashes these are the biggest problems uh, that you're going to have that you need to get fixed so good to see that that is there now let's take a peek at what we still know is a problem I can definitely confirm that the number one here, uh, the number one item on this list is is a problem that I've had, um, and it's not may crash after attempting to view a replay. It crashes every single time I've ever tried to watch a replay via um, that function in the in the settings menu um, for my PS5. So I mean I don't know about you guys or how often you've even looked at that stuff, but um, that is something I have not been able to use at all. Um, you know there are. A lot of these remaining issues are, uh, several of them at least, are, are locked either into um, DLC content or PvE. I don't really play much PvE, so I can't speak a ton to those to be 100% honest with you. But I do know that you know the DLC content still being a really big problem for a lot of people is you know, really unfortunate because that was money that people spent that they're not being able to, f you know, to see it being used properly. So there's that. Um, I will say, though, that this list of known issues used to be quite a bit bigger so the fact that this is shrinking is a really good sign um, and it seems as though most people are finding that you know over the last several months um, these hot fixes and updates have done their job for the most part now like I said these are still things that exist in the game that are problems but um, to see this list shrink um, quite a bit over the last three months or so is is definitely a very good thing. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're still having any issues, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you're enjoying the game a whole heck of a lot, uh, like a lot of us are, uh, let us know too. Um, hope you guys are having a great week. Thanks for stopping by.